Welcome back, Pointers. I'm Olivia Walker. And I'm Maddie Larson. Welcome to tonight's episode of SPTV News. Several events are coming to UWSP. Stay tuned to learn more. In the DUC Theater, CASE is presenting a Spectral Micro Cinema Weird Animation event. Stop by on April 25th at 7.30 p.m. There will be award-winning, underground, and experimental works to sit back and enjoy. Admission is free with a UWSP student ID and $5 without one. Stop by to see the different editors' techniques, ranging from hand-drawn and hand-painted frames to 3D and stop-motion animation. Now, on to Olivia. Thank you, Maddie. Here are some upcoming events to look forward to. In the DUC Theater, on Friday, April 26th, the new Mean Girls movie is coming to campus. Showtime start at 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. Admission is free with a valid UWSP student ID and $5 without. In the DUC Encore, on Tuesday, April 13th at 6.30 p.m., Case will also be hosting another painting tote bags event. This is an As Supplies Last event, and admission is free with a valid student ID or $5 without. Here to talk about JoJo Siwa's dramatic transformation is Lexi and Reagan. Let's go check it out. Hello, guys. Welcome back to Girls Just Being Girls with Reagan and Lexi. Oh! Today, we are talking about the um, revolutionary, never been seen before, never been done before, um, show stopping song that is Karma by JoJo Siwa. <laughs> We have prepared choreography. <clears throat> Anyways, so yeah, we have a little bit of controversy with this song because it was implied that when Miss JoJo released the song that she had made it, this is the first time the song had ever been, you know, heard, made, anything like that. And um, newsflash, that's not the case. It was originally produced and it wasn't quite released, but like the idea and the, the, the memo was there in 2012, which is, you know, not that I get a deal, nobody's counting, it's fine. But <laughs> I just think it's kind of crazy for her to be like, yeah, we're rebranding and we're doing all this. It's never been seen before with a song that was first written for Miley Cyrus. So keep that in there. <laughs> and um, secondly, not even made for her when she said that this is about her ex's, this is about her ex. Just kind of crazy. What are your thoughts on this, Lexi? Um, I think it's kind of wild that her version is not doing as great as the original version that was re-released as, um, what was her name? <laughs> Brit. Brit. Um, Brit. Yes, hers is doing a lot better than JoJo's is. Yeah, because um, it's a good song. It's a good song. <laughs> I think that JoJo's version, for her rebranding purposes, it is still sounding very kiddish and like her old, her old self, and I feel like with the new one, the original, the OG one. It just, it sounds more professionally made. Oh yeah, and it's like, it's it was perfect for that time anyways, because like the 2010s-esque, mm -hmm. that's the vibe that it's giving, and you're trying to make a rebrand with 2010 vibes. I don't know, yeah. something's a little fishy. A little Speaking fishy. of which, segue, have y'all seen the music video? Because <laughs> um, I think Moto Moto likes you, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> And now she's coming out of the water with her kiss makeup. And just some of that, I was like, it's, again, very kiddish, very Disney Channel. Like, I'm going to, um, you know, do a dance choreography. And then doing what she did on that beach. Girl, what are you talking about? So, yeah, that was a little cray-cray, in my opinion. But, you know. I'm all for the rebrand. but that's, uh, that's what's up with JoJo Siwa. Now on to Olivia Maddie at the news desk. Thank you, Lexi and Reagan. That's all we have for you this time. As always, thank you for tuning in and have a great week.